can you tell us a little bit more about the character you play um, and just the, I guess what the film's about? I'm Toy Wilcox. I play a character called Bavarella in R. R is a feature film that has absolutely no dialogue whatsoever, but it has guttural noises. So we kind of rehearsed the whole film in English. It was written in English, and we knew what the English scene was. So we rehearsed in English off camera, and then once camera was running, we revert back to guttural languages and the whole idea about this is that all of us all the characters within the film are part of a pecking order we're part of a caste system we're either alpha or beta so my character in it is alpha she's very violent she's not adverse to her husband's being killed she en encourages it and I get through about four husbands within the film oh, amazing <laughs> um uh, so then I guess, are you guys working with a script and then just kind of throwing out the dialogue? The script was written in English, so we had to learn the script, we had to rehearse the script in English, and then we threw it away. That's perfect. Um, and how, does it, how do you feel that it stands apart from the horror film theme that you guys have today? I, I think where R fits in with Fright Fest and the horror genre is it doesn't fit in anywhere else. It breaks every taboo, it's utterly offensive. It has prosthetic penises and stuff like that. So it, it, it's shocking, it's a shocking film. So I don't think it's horror in that if we lose all our inhibition as human beings, the behavior people see in R could very well come to fruition. I suppose in some places it's already happening. But the horror aspect is the comment of losing all social inhibition. Is that particularly what drew you to picking up the role and um, taking on the project? What drew me to my role is it's the funniest script I have ever read. And we're begging the director to subtitle it and to do a version where we dub it because it's the, one of the best English scripts I've ever read. And it's ironic that we don't perform it in English. And in terms of actual um, horror genre, is there a, any particular type of films that you enjoy or anything that kind of scares you in particular? I absolutely love science fiction horror. It's my passion. If I get into one, I'd be in heaven. I love the Alien franchise. I love Prometheus and where that's going. I, I like anything where people are on a different planet and they meet an alien creature. Heaven. Well, thank you so much. Um, enjoy the film festival, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but by the way, question: um, Do you do pri like a little bit of a primal, primal scream yourself? Yes, we all do in the film. It, it's uh, it w we all have to go into there to find the kind of truth of what we had to do. Because some of the scenes are so violent. Uh, it's okay flailing about, but violence can be still as well. So lots of primal. Would you like to do one now? No, because I, <laughs> I have a two hour concert tomorrow and there is no way I'm going to be screaming today. Can you tell me a bit about the characters that you guys play? We play members of a, a, a community living in a house together which are, who communicate and or behave like apes. Indeed. Yes, it's an alpha beta structure of apes living together in technically a family of apes. Yeah, in a family. Yeah. How do you feel that um, this particular film stands apart from the ones currently featured at the Fright Fest right now? <laughs> well, it's probably the only one in a completely different language. <laughs> with no recognizable human words in it. That's right. Um, Intuited. Yeah. It was, it was actually a brilliant script that was written in English yeah. by Steve, the director, Steve Oram. And then we've had to uh, recreate that using uh, monkey style voices to... Can you, can you explain a little bit more about the, the title that you guys went with? That's a uh, product of Steve's deep, dark mind. You'd have to ask him about that. It's, it's very easy to Google. It's easy to Google. Yeah. Well, you got to get it right. I think it's seven A's and an H, and then an exclamation mark. So you've got to yeah, be specific, but a, yeah. I got quite OCD about that. How many A's yeah. do you type when you type it in? Going to film R78GH. Um, Hashtag A-A-A-A-A. -A 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 -A. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Um, and I guess final question. Um, 
Uh, do you guys do a little bit of a primal screaming yourself? Never. A primal No, I'm not kind of a... Uh, it's the one where you vent your frustrations by just belting it out. Oh, sure. We all do that, right? Yeah, although this... Everyone needs to. This film is quite liberating for that sort of thing. Yeah. If you want to get a little bit out of your system every now and then. Would you guys like to do a little one now? What, a primal scream? I don't think I can really, you know, do it justice. Ah! Right now. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Now we start. <laughs>